Hello and welcome to Video Jog. We're going to show you how to strip clean tack with the help of equine expert Maylin McEwen. She's a British Horse Society certified instructress and has worked in equine horse management for over 21 years. Step 1. The benefits of strip cleaning your tack. Firstly, it will prolong the life of your saddle and bridle. As cleaning feeds the leather, it keeps the leather supple which is important for the comfort of both horse and rider. It enables you to check your tack for safety. And it prevents rubs, sores and galls on your horse. And of course, it helps to keep a nice appearance. Step 2. The equipment you will need is a saddle, a bridle, two sponges, a bucket of warm water, a bridle hook, but this is optional. A saddle horse, also optional. A clean cloth. Glycerin saddle soap or spray. A hard brush. Step 3. Strip clean the bridle. Begin by taking the bridle completely apart. Now put the bit into the bucket of warm water and give it a good wash with a sponge. Then dry it off with a clean cloth. Now rubbing firmly with the same dampened sponge, begin to wipe off the grease and dirt from all the leather pieces on both sides. Pay particular attention to the inside of the bridle, as this area is where the most dirt and grease build up, which may cause sores. Scrape off any stubborn grease marks with your nail. Top tip, never use hot water as this removes the natural oils from the leather, causing it to become brittle, and never use detergent in the water. Step 4. Check your bridle for safety. Whilst cleaning your bridle, it's important to check for any cracks in the leather straps. Tack can get worn over time and break, especially where metal meets leather. Look for any stitching that may have rotted, or had excessive wear and tear, and check that there is no excessive stretching of the leather which may snap under pressure. Step 5. Saddle soap your bridle. If you're using saddle soap in a spray form, now lightly spray some onto a dry sponge and firmly rub it into all the leather pieces of your bridle on both sides. If you're using glycerin soap, dip the bar into some water. Then rub a dry sponge into the wet bar of soap. Now really work the soap well into the leather pieces. This helps to feed the leather and to stop it drying out. Top tip, when using saddle soap, don't use a wet sponge as this causes too much lather. Use a matchstick if it gets into the holes. When all the pieces have been soaked, put the clean bridle back together. This can be done easily by hanging the bridle from a bridle hook. Step 6. Strip the saddle. Begin by removing the girth. Then take off the numner or saddle cloth from underneath the saddle. And briskly brush off any excess hair from it with a stiff hard brush. Now give the girth a good brush as well. If it needs a really good clean, put it in a washing machine with a sock covering any buckles and secured by a hairband. Next, remove the stirrup leathers and remove the stirrup irons from the leather straps. Then place the irons into a bucket of warm water. Use a sponge to wash off any dirt or mud. When clean, rub them dry with a clean dry cloth. Step 7. Wipe over the saddle. Now dampen a sponge with some warm water and begin to wipe over the saddle to remove any dirt and grease. Start with the panels underneath, then the girth straps, the saddle flaps, the seat area and skirts. Pay particular attention to the folds and creases in the leather, but remember, don't use hot water or any detergent. Finally, 
clean over the stirrup levers. Step 8. Check the saddle for safety. Once again, do a thorough safety check. Look carefully to make sure there is no excessive wear on the saddle that may need restitching or replacing. Pay particular attention to the girth straps, which may have stretched, or where the buckles may have worn the holes away. Check for cracks. One of the most common problems occur when the stitching on the leathers gets worn through. Leather can stretch and snap. Step 9. Saddle soap the saddle. If you're using a spray, lightly spray the saddle panels underneath and work it in well with a dry sponge. Then move around to the side panels, the girth straps and the seat area. If you're using glycerin soap, as before, dip the bar into some water and follow the same procedure, working the soap well into the leather. Finally, don't forget to saddle soap your stirrup leathers. Your saddle should be now positively gleaming. Step 10. Put the saddle back together. With your stirrup irons looped through the stirrup leathers, now attach them back to the saddle. Tip the saddle forward and firmly push the leather down onto the bar. Run your stirrups up. Top tip. When replacing the stirrups back onto the saddle, swap over each time. When you mount up, the left one always stretches more than the right. And loop the clean girth through the irons. Finally, place the numner or saddle cloth over it all. Step 11. Some final advice. You should strip clean your tack at least once a week. You should also give your tack a quick clean each time you use it as dirt can build up and rub on your horse's skin.